Hey, hey! What is up, y'all? Welcome to Game Day here at Heavy Cardboard. Teach, play, and discuss medium and strategy board games, war games, 18xx. I'm your host, Edward Euler. Happy to be joined by y'all, because, yeah, solo game day. This is one I've been cautiously looking forward to, I think is a good way to put it. So, today, as y'all can see, Kanban EV, designed by Vital Lacerda. Published by Eagle Griffin Games. Now, Eagle Griffin, very kindly, is a partner. Heavy Cardboard, as well as provided us with the, and by us, I mean me, the review copy of the game. So, thanks to everybody over at Eagle for that. All right. So, it's a big one. Uh, yeah. It's, it's a VTOL game. Now, this, from everything I have been told, this is more Galarus than it is on Mars as far as the solo bot. Now, I've yet to play this entirely solo. Uh, I've played it multiple times, a lot, many, many years ago when it first came out. And so, looking forward, I've played it multiplayer, but have yet to play it solo entirely. So, this will be a, a bit of a learning experience together, but I think I have it down pretty well. And the solo bot or the solo game, if you will, is designed by David Turtsey. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, David does a very good job of, well, designing solitaire modes for multiplayer games. I'm looking forward to this. I really am. So I am counting on the peanut gallery to remind me of stuff that I forget as I forget stuff because, I mean, it's just me here in the studio. So yeah. All right. There we go. All right, now, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, I saw that Paul Inkow is in chat, and Paul, I think this is one you developed with VTOL, right? I think this is, I think. Let me check, check the rule book for the credits, actually. Yeah, Paul, there you are. All right, so, cool to see Paul in here. It's been a minute, all right, cool. So. Um, Here's what I'm going to do. What I've decided to do for the teaching for this today is I'm not going to go into huge detail on everything on the front end, but I am going to give a pretty thorough overview of what it is we're going to be doing. Big picture, not talking specifically about the solitaire aspect, just as if it were a multiplayer game. Then, before we get started, I will go over some of the solitaire stuff just to give you guys a feel for what it's going to be. And then we will step through all of the solitaire stuff every time we get to something new. I think that is probably the best way, uh, the best way to do this, or at least that I know to do this. So without further ado, if you all are ready, I'm as ready as I'm going to be. Let's put it that way. Let's get into Kanban EV. Kanban, the Japanese word for billboard, is the name for a scheduling system that supports an efficient assembly line, just-in-time production, and a smooth workflow process. Electric vehicles have become more common since 2014, and electric vehicles are the future of the, uh, of the automobile industry. They are superior vehicles due to being more efficient, easier to maintain, cleaner, and cheaper to run. They are computerized machines that use AI to improve safety, and in the near future will provide autonomous driving. Which, um, as an aside, that'll be a sad day because I actually really enjoy driving. Anyway, they receive software upgrades during their lifetime and are constantly improving, unlike their traditional combustion engine counterparts, which start to become obsolete as soon as you become, begin using them. Over the course of the game, players take on the role of rookie employees trying to secure their career. You need to manage suppliers and supplies, improve and innovate automobile parts, and get your hands greasy on the assembly line in order to boost production and impress the all-too-important factory manager. You must make shrewd use of the recycling facilities and limited factory supplies in order to appropriate parts when the suppliers come up short. Because the factory must run at optimum efficiency, production doesn't wait for you or for mistakes to be rectified. 
Kanban is a game that focuses on resource and time management that puts you in the, wait for it, driver's seat of an entire production facility, racing for factory goals, see what I did there, and the highest level of promotion. You will earn production points, forever known as victory points, for performing various actions in the game. And the player with the most production points, victory points, at the end of the game is declared the winner. Sandra, the factory manager, will review your performance and keep the factory on tempo. All right, so what is it we're looking at? There is a lot of stuff that is going on in this game and with this board. Now, I remember the very first time I saw the very first Kanban board, I was like, <laughs> that's not intimidating. There is a ton of information on this board, but once you learn to look at it as different departments, it becomes a little bit easier to piece together. Now, I think Ian O'Toole did a very, very good job with the, with the graphic design, but let's go ahead and talk about what we're looking at here, big picture-wise. Uh, first off, victory point track, round the outside, round the outside, round the outside, right? Then, there are essentially seven different areas of the board here. Now, we're going to talk about, first off, Workstation Alley, which is this yellow line, this is where the worker placement aspect of the game comes in. And so you're talking about right there through the middle, all right? Then you have five main departments over here on the board. You have R&D or research and development. That is basically this whole area up there. So basically the top half, left, top left quadrant of the board. Then this department right here is going to be the design department right there. Down here at the bottom is other stuff. So there's certifications, bank time, recycling, all of those things, but it's not a department. This is more a administrative type area. All right. Now I say an administrative type area, not to be confused with this department that is over here, which is admin. Okay. So this is to help keep things straight with the game, this is an actual department, admin. Then up above admin, you have logistics right here in the middle. And then in the top right hand corner, where all the cars are on the assembly line up there is, well, you guessed it, assembly. All right. So that's everything pretty much out here on the board. So you have the main departments, you have other stuff that I mentioned. All of this stuff over here is all of the AI. Then you have uh, David. I'll probably, it'll either be Tertsi or David, the white one. And then Vitol or Lacerda, the black one. So these are my two opponents here. And then there's me. Now I'm playing orange. Why? I realize normally I play yellow, but because of the big yellow spot there in the middle, I thought it'd be easier to highlight or to play as orange for y'all at home. And then there is Sandra down here in her office at the bottom of the screen. Now, there's a whole lot more stuff. So my player board isn't even on the screen. And the reason for that is it's is kind of a big main board. So I thought it'd just be easier to have my player board over here. All right. If y'all would like me to move it, please let me know in the chat and we'll see uh, when we're done with the teaching if we can accommodate that. All right. So our player board, we have a whole bunch of stuff. We have garages up here at the top and you'll notice that one of them is locked and you'll notice that there are locks throughout your player board, which you need to be certified to be able to unlock certain things on your player board. But as it is, you have four available garages at the top. You have the chat bubbles or the, um, the speech bubbles here. These are unavailable. You have to acquire them when they're on your board. They are available and obviously one of which can be unlocked. Then over here you have a place for parts vouchers. You have a place for homework for whenever you want to take some studying home. More on that later. And then you have spots for designs down here. And again, four of them are available. One must be unlocked. And finally, you have a spot over here, which is, or I should say five spots for parts that you're going to be able to acquire to then be able to do things with those parts. And again, one of those is going to be locked. Now, you also have a hand of cards. Now, we have two Kanban cards to start with that were randomly drawn 
as well. And normally these are hidden, these are in your hand, but it's solo, right? And then we have performance cards here. Normally you start with three in the solo game, you start with four. We'll go over those much, much later as well. All right, so that's pretty much everything that y'all are looking at. And then there are parts and other things that are off camera as well, all right? So that's the gist of what it is you're looking at. And I should also point out that there are player aids here and just some little cheater reminders for me. They're double-sided, but there. And then there is a solitaire one that I'll be using as well throughout the game. All right, so now what is it you're trying to do in the game? Well, the game, obviously the goal is victory points or performance points. I'm just gonna call them victory points from here out. Those are gonna be tracked around the outside of the board and whoever scores the most points wins, all right? But the game is played over a series of rounds with each round represents one single day of work in the factory. And there are two different phases within each. The first phase is basically the worker placement aspect of it, where we're going to take our workers and place them out here onto the various workstations that are available out there. So you can see I kind of highlighted that a little bit here on that camera. So there are a total of, as you can see, 10 worker placement spots available where we're going to place our workers. So either on the two time or the three time or down here in admin, the one, two, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so that is called the department selection phase. When we do so, we're always going to do this from top to bottom. So wherever our workers are, including Sandra, and by our workers, I mean us, David and Vital as well out here, as well as Sandra. And then they will follow a certain bot, but we can choose just about any place. Now, in the solitaire game, you are not allowed to go anywhere that Sandra is. So if Sandra's in her department, we cannot go there. Uh, but in a normal multiplayer game, three or more players, you can go to any available space. Okay, easy enough on that. Then the second part of that is going to be the work phase. So in workstation order, again, top to bottom, working our way down, you're going to either work within the department. So if you would placed on either of these two spaces here, you're gonna be working in the logistics department. And you will either be doing the main tasks or possibly training. Now each department has a little training area here and we'll go over that a little bit more in detail here in a bit, all right? So normally you will work only within that one department and that department only, okay? There, so you can see him. Uh, the exception to that is the admin. I'll talk about that, though, in a little bit. But let's go ahead and go over big picture what it is we're going to be doing within the departments and how the kind of the flow of the game kind of will work. All right. So looking over here and let me go ahead and do it this way, I think. So we'll go ahead and start talking about the design. Uh, workshop or the design uh, department, sorry. Whenever you go, and this is going to be the same across just about all of the departments. On your turn, you're going to be able to work a, a number of shifts. That number of shifts will range from one to four. Wherever, whichever space you go to out here on the board will dictate how many shifts you can spend on the base number. And by the base number, I mean it's either going to be two or three, or possibly down here in the admin, it's one or two. So two or three shifts. In addition to that, we will have some banked shifts, which are gonna be tracked down here on this track down here. You are allowed a maximum of four shifts to work in a single day. So if I were to say be on that two space, that would be two, which means then I could, if I choose, spend up to two more bank shifts. If I were on the three, I could spend up to one more bank shift for a total of four shifts. That makes sense? I think so. Okay, good, moving on. Now, within a given department, you're going to be able to always either, or mix and match, I should say, and or. Train, training is going to be on this track. So 
most of us normally will start at the very beginning of the training track and then advance one space for every training, for every time that we spend to there. Then we get certified. I'll talk about that in a little bit. And then we advance up this track further and further. Now, the reason we want to train is first off, to become certified. And what is certification going to do? Depending on the department, you'll notice that here, we're in the design department. So therefore, if we look over here on our board, the design department allows us to remove that lock once we are certified. Okay, cool, great. Which basically unlocks the ability to have more stuff and do more things and do better, et cetera, et cetera. So once you have crossed that threshold, you can then you unlock that automatically. So that is training, and that is going to be universal between all five of the different departments. So you can spend one time, as you see, or up to a maximum of four to train. And once you have reached the end spot, you're going to get the uh, speech bubble here, which more on that in a little bit, and you're going to get whatever the bonus is that's an immediate one-time bonus, cool, awesome, and then throw it away. So obviously only the first player that gets that between the three of us, me, David, and Vital, uh, will achieve that when we reach the very end. All right, I think that's pretty simple. So we can always choose to train with some or all of the time that we're choosing to take the action with. And the next thing is we can do whatever the main things are. So the main things here are take designs. So we would be able to choose designs from out here. Now, normally this says we can only take any of the eight available designs. Well, if we have, are certified, we can then take from any of the other stacks that are there as well. That's the gist of how we're going to be able to do work within each of the departments. The big picture of all of that works the same. You can either train or do some mix of the various action, uh, various tasks within that department. All right. So if you notice in logistics, you have train as or three different options, whereas here there's two and one of which if you're certified, one if you're certified, et cetera, et cetera. I hope that makes sense. I hope that uh, that all is clear. But now the flow of the game and kind of the way this kind of makes sense, I think, is we need to go and get designs. Once we have designs, we're going to be able to do a couple of different things from there. Within these designs, there are going to be parts associated with them. So maybe we come over here to the logistics area to then be able to claim some of these parts, okay? Then once we have claimed some of those parts, then it might make sense to actually start putting cars together. We're going to place parts out here, and when we place parts, we're going to push the cars out following the lines that are out here within the, uh, within the assembly department. So. I'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit on the assembly so y'all can see. You can see that the little red arrows. So for instance, when we go ahead and push this gray car, this gray car is going to push into this gray car. Then this gray car can either move, continue moving forward or can push into the green. The green would then move up here. That gray would go, that would go, and then we would refill it with a new car. All right, I think that kind of makes sense. That's kind of the gist of what we're going to be doing. Then once a car has passed one of these and it gets pushed out, then it's going to leave the assembly and then it's going to go ahead and head over to the R&D area. And then within the R&D area, this is where you're going to be able to upgrade designs that you have down here, as well as uh, put the cars out here behind the pace car to then be able to claim those cards over here into our garages for to be able to ultimately score points. That's kind of the flow of how this game works, all right? Now, there are definitely more to this than that, but the admin area down here, the admin area is an exception to the rule of you can only work within the department that you have chosen to go into. So if I have taken my worker and I've chosen to go to one of those two spots, you'll notice that you can, as always, train or and or you can train here for some mix of time and or work in any of the other four departments, including 
everything that you could normally do there. So if we take a look, since here, let's say I wanted to, uh, here in the admin, all you can do is train and or work in any of the other departments. So I could spend, say, two time here to train here, and then I could go ahead and work without moving anything. I just say I'm going to be up here in the logistics. Maybe I train a little up here in logistics, and then maybe I do one of the other actions that's out there as well, provided that I use some bank time, because again, it's only one or two time on that space. So I hope all of that makes sense, all right? But then if you take a look over here at the bottom of the board, all right? So that is going to be the timer of the game. And there are a couple other things that I haven't mentioned without going into the details of the different departments. It, what happens at the end of a week? So Sandra, as I mentioned, is going to be going out and at the end of every day, except for the first day, wherever she is, she's going to do two things. She's probably going to penalize some of us, maybe all of us, taking points away for, from us if we have not banked enough shifts. And depending on what department she's in, we haven't done what it is that she feels we should have already done. So we'll lose some points. That's why we start at 15 points up there at the top of the board. In addition to all of that, she's then going to do whatever that I mentioned. When she gets down to admin, instead of taking up one of the two spots on admin, she goes back to her office. And this time track is going to advance all the way down. When the pace car gets pushed around to the other side of the, uh, from where it is, the pace car gets pushed when either we claim cars from here for, into our garage or enough cars keep getting pushed that it forces it around. When the pace car gets over there, we're then going to have a meeting. That meeting marker is going to come over here. The meeting marker is going to be, all of us, a chance to sit around to score points on these various goals that are there. And by all of us, I mean, well, all of us, all right? Mostly me. And that's where our speech bubbles are going to come into play. We're going to be able to speak on certain topics. I'll get into all of that more in detail when we actually get there, but that's kind of the gist. So the game takes place, like I said, over a course of rounds, which then turn into weeks, and then the end of the game is triggered. Make sure I get this. Uh, when the production cycle marker and the week marker are at the end of their track, okay? So, up there. When one of them is on the second space and the other is on at least the third, the end of the game is triggered, we'll cover all that, then we go into final scoring, and then whoever has the most points wins normally. All right, so now, the solo bot. All right, so first things first, there are some differences here set up in the game for the solitaire versus the multiplayer. Normally you set it up for the three player game, which is what we have done here, okay? Um, then you'll notice that both David and Vital don't have player boards. Whenever they score points, I lose those points. So it's going to be a tug of war going there, all right? So there's that first off. The colleague, so David's area is going to be over here. Vital's is going to be over here, all right? There are four random upgradable designs that's gonna be based on the little symbol that's up here in the top left corner, are, have already been picked and those will stay in a stack right there. Then, Normally there are, I have three performance goals. I have four in the, uh, in the solo game. Also there is one random factory goal. So there is a random factory goal here for uh, number of certifications. There is one for upgrades and there is one for number of cars uh, in the garage that you've taken. So there's that instead of there being two. Then there are only one award for reaching the end of the certification track. And then VTOL starts 
more certified, or no, I should say more trained, not certified. So he starts on the second spot, whereas David and I both start on the first spot. And then there are what's called playing cards. The playing cards are the bigger cards, and this is going to be basically saying what it is that the bots are going to do on their turn, the bots being David and Vital. And then there are selection cards, which are going to dictate when they have a choice of what to take, those are what they're going to take, okay? I think that's good enough to get started, honestly. Um, yeah, so there you go. All right, so uh, let me, one more thing, the recycling, do, I, do they get, oh, I think I just totally dropped it. Um, choose three different at random. No, I totally missed that. So thank you, who was that, Vici. There should be three down here in recycling. So let's go ahead and there we go. So there should be three here in recycling and I'll talk about that more in detail in a bit when we go. So here we go, there's one of each. Okay, there we go. A moment. So we have one there, we have one there and voila, there we go, all right. So actually, now that we're actually on this view, this kind of makes sense because for the beginning of the game, we have to choose some stuff, all right? So we have certification markers. Now, I mentioned anytime you have crossed that threshold from the, say, lower table to the higher table, if you will, and you have hit a certification, every time you do that, you're going to advance one step up here. And when you start, or when you advance, you're gonna choose whatever bonus, but not only are you choosing the bonus, but things are going to resolve from this direction. So higher, you get the lesser reward, but you're going to go earlier, especially when it comes to meetings and so on and so forth, okay? All right? All right, so let's go ahead and start with this. Take the design tile on the top of the central stack and one car part from the supply corresponding to the type not present in the logistics department. Well, I've already kind of prepared that, and that is going to be this. So that is the central stack, and why this part, you might ask? Well, if you take a look at the logistics area, that is the only one that did not start with a part due to the Kanban card that's there. So I'm gonna start with that, and I'm going to start there. So I have a plan, and I have that car part as well. All right, then I have to place my certification marker on one of the four spaces, it's my choice. So the four spaces being uh, advance the time marker one step it's for a bank time, that's nice. Take a homework book, that's basically a free training. And then a, uh, a parts voucher, which is a free part. All of those are great. I really don't know. Peanut gallery, go ahead and choose one. All right? While I get something to drink. <sighs> now, I assume a lot of y'all know Kanban, so that's why I'm leaving it up to y'all. And honestly, I'm okay with whatever, but don't choose the first one. That's all I'm saying. Just don't choose the first spot because I want something extra. Shouldn't get, shouldn't leave without getting something for free, right? Books are good, I agree, Gusarino. I totally agree. All right, you know what? Books it is. So we're gonna go ahead, I'ma get me a book. All right, so what does that mean? Well, I'm going to literally grab a book, go ahead, throw it over here onto my board, and that's gonna be worth a point at the end of the game, but let's face it, we're going to use it. So there's that, okay? All right, so we have chosen that. Then, Tertsy starts on the third position, unless we've taken it, or the fourth, if we took it. So we did, so he will get that. What they get doesn't, they don't ever get any of those things. And then from that, I, I love that they're called Mr. Tertsy and Mr. Lisser, it's Vital. Vital starts first because he cheats. All right, there we go. All right. So again, whenever they score points, I lose points instead. 
okay? And help me remember that I am not allowed to go where Sandra is, okay? So remember that. Um, cool, all right. Let me go and bring up my camera. Uh, glory to Rome's. I usually forget to do those on solo streams, but with this being a VTOL game, four and a half, that sounds about right, okay? So, yes, Ken, lots of knobs and switches, all right? Um, oh, yeah, okay, let's go over the goal cards, shall we? That's a good call. Let me, there we go. All right, that's a good call. By the way, now, I'm, I can zoom out. And if I, can, if I do, I can take my player board and move it up to the main camera so it's always on. I have the PTZ, which I'm going to be zooming around throughout the main board. But honestly, I thought it was okay having this on the, on the side camera. So y'all decide. Let me know. Okay? All right. So these were legitimately random. So let's go over what the performance goals are here. All right? So the first one, which has to do with... Uh, what is that? Bank time. And two points for every bank shift you have up to three times. So potentially up to six if you have at least, if I have at least three. So there's that. Okay. All right. This one is going to be, I just want to look these up to make sure. It is going to be two point, uh, sorry, four points for every upgraded design that I have um, for this specific part. So upgrading that, so potentially that's going to be worth eight points as well. All right. This is going to be for parts vouchers. So two points for every parts voucher, up to three of them. So, okay. All right. And finally... This is going to be two points for every car in your garage, specifically the green, I think they're called city cars, so the commuter cars. So, or this is four points, not two. Yeah, sorry. So four points uh, for every green car, up to two. So for the first two, eight points, okay? So those are going to be my, my, uh, my goals for the first meeting available, okay? In addition to that, why don't we go ahead and look at what the meeting goals are themselves to start out with. So the first one over here is going to be for different. It's three points for every different car you have in your garage, up to three different. I think that's a bit ambitious to think we're going to get three early in the game, but we'll see. So that is potentially worth up to nine points. Uh, books for every book that we have. All right. Up to three, so six points potentially there. We already have one. Probably going to use it, but we'll see. Then that is going. the next one is going to be for an upgraded design for electronics, four points for each of those. And finally, that last one is going to be four points for every car you have in either the second and third garage, specifically meaning this one, and this one, and these were just randomly placed out there, except not that one, that's the locked one, but those four, all right? So there we go. All right. All right. So those are what we have in our hands to start. All right. So now we go, let me make sure, one second. Okay, so bring that around. We're going to be using the uh, PTZ a lot today, so get ready for this. So we're going to operate in this order. So it's going to be uh, VTOL, me, David, in that order. Okay, so bring those down. All right, so, and I'm going to step through this very, very slowly for the first round or two uh, so that you and I both, honestly, get used to how this solo bot works, okay? So it's a colleague's turn to select a department, meaning it's VTOL's turn, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab the top selection card, okay, here, and take the indicated plan card. Now, technically, these are supposed to be top to bottom. And I guess, you know what? I guess I could do that. So hold on one second. These don't have to be where they are. 
put that there. Yeah, that works. I think that's probably a better way to do this because, and let's go ahead. So VTOL's going to, there we go. Top or bottom card is it, it's telling us. Well, this is going to be the bottom card. So we're going to go ahead and take the bottom card. Okay, boom. So we're gonna take both of those cards and put them over here into VTOL's play area, okay? All right, sorry, got sidetracked with chat, my bad. All right, uh, so both the cards are in their play area, then move the colleague's worker meeple to the location indicated on the plan card onto the top or bottom, respectively. Now, I have little, little reminders. I actually have made myself a little cheat sheet here, okay? So, how this works, it's going to be in, oh, hold on one second. Let me get this out of the way. There we go. So it's going to be in the R&D department, okay? And then VTOL is always going to go to the bottom workstation within that area. So if we take a look up here at R&D, we find it. R&D is this area here. So those two workstations, and he's going to go to the bottom one there, okay? Does that make sense? Okay. Y'all with me so far? Now, if the bottom spot were already taken, he would then move down from there. Let me, let me make sure, hold on. Um, yeah, top to bottom, they would move. So from R&D, then they would go into uh, design or uh, assembly, and then, so assembly, and then they would, down to logistics, so on and so forth. All that makes sense? Y'all with me on that, I hope? Okay. All right, so now from there, yeah, that's probably smarter, I think, Craig, so I'll stand, I'll stand them up when they're done. That way y'all can see them a little bit better. I agree with that. All right, have a good one, Bill. All right, so next it's going to be us. Well, okay, so let's talk about what it is. So VTOL, us, all right. Let's figure out what it is we want to do now. Well, we already have a design. We, we could get some parts. We could go ahead and push cars out with the part that we already have. Um, so parts logistics, we could go over into assembly and start pushing cars. Um, a blue car would probably be good because we have uh, production goals here, which would get us um, more speech bubbles, which would give us more things to score when we get into meetings, but we would need multiple uh, parts to do that. So I'm leaning either to the design or to logistics to start off with. I think so, all right? I think so. And designs, whenever Whenever we go over here to take designs, obviously until we're certified, we only have access to these eight. But if you notice, these two columns, if we take any of those, we get bank shifts and or books. Not a bad idea. Now, granted, I would prefer that, uh, that the, the, uh, the green one was over here for the training, but I think that's a valid thing to go ahead and do. We could. Um, the other thing to think about here is, and I probably ought to show you all this as well, and let's go over to assembly. So let's bring it up there. 
So this is a little cheat sheet, very shorthand there, which is a shorter version of this for what's going to happen with Sandra, okay? So what's going to happen with Sandra is she's going to move, um, and the place where she goes, yeah, we're just gonna lose points no matter what this first, no, she doesn't move the first turn, that's right, that's right. Ah, uh, hmm. You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and make the command decision. We're gonna go ahead and grab some designs. So we'll go, sorry, we'll go to the three space, more time, more things we can do and be able to get bonuses. We're gonna need them anyways. I think that's, that's an all right thing to do, okay? All right, so next is now going to be David's turn. So David is top or bottom card. It's gonna be the bottom card. The bottom card is the logistics one. So uh, David is going to be the top workstation and is it available here in logistics? It is, so there's that, boom, done. All right, so, a moment, one last thing, not last thing, I'll be referencing this a few times, but. All right, yeah, all right. So now we're going to uh, resolve everybody's actions. So that was the, um, let me get the terminology correct. That was the, uh, that was the worker placement aspect, but the uh, department selection phase. Now we're moving into the work phase, okay? So, we are up there in R&D to start with. Uh, you know what, actually? We'll go ahead and talk about, uh, oops, making a mess over here, losing pieces, a moment. All right, there we go. For the first time, I want to actually step us through this. All right, so talking about VTOLs, so we're talking about the right side over here, so here. They advance once, always, and help me remember. Step one, advance on the training space, okay? So we come up here to the R&D, and VTOL is going to advance one on the training space. Boom, done, okay. Always. Whenever they, first thing, each one of them, that's what they do. Then they're going to go ahead and perform additional actions depending on the department, okay? Uh, a couple of other things. So, you'll notice that it says something here in green over there, okay? This only applies to VTOL. If VTOL is certified in the department, which currently, he is not, but if he were there and then we moved him there and then we get to that point, then he is already certified. So in that case, then we're going to do whatever the bonus certification thing says. So he gets that for the remainder of the game, which really kind of sucks if you're me, okay? Or you, because I'm hoping that y'all are on my side with this. All right, so now what we're going to do is basically do what this says. So let's go ahead and move these over. This is shorthand, so I'm gonna read from the rule book a little bit uh, to spell this out a little bit for R&D. So, Lacerda will upgrade a design once, twice if he is certified, then claim the car immediately following the pace car if there is one. Well, as you can see, there's no cars yet behind the pace car, so we don't need to worry about that part of it, okay? All right? All right, so, upgrading a design. The colleague, Lacerda in this case, performs the upgrade corresponding to the tile on the top of their shared design stack using a car part from the supply. Okay, so we're looking at this car, which is the red car. I think this is the uh, sports car. Okay, place it in order of preference on the highest available uh, point space. 
I'll explain that here in a minute. Then a bank shift space, a book space, and finally a blank space, okay? They ignore any printed benefit. They don't get those, they just block them. Then flip that tile and show its upgraded design and place it in their play area. Then advance the value of the car part, as usual, and the colleague gains points equal to the new value of that, of that part. Okay, okay? And then the claim cars side, we don't, we're not even gonna bother talking about that because there's no cars to claim. So looking at this, upgraded design, from the, the design stack there, advance the part value and gain points. Then take the car behind the pace car. Okay. And then if it were certified, upgrade it a second one. Okay, that's easy enough to do. So now let's go ahead and walk our way through this. Okay. All right. So upgrading a design. Well, this is where we're talking about for the upgrades for the different cars up here there. And obviously we are talking about the red car. And the priority here was, let me go back through that, that was uh, highest available uh, point space. So if there are any points available, there are right there. And then what are we upgrading? Um, a moment. I believe that is going to be from their card. So we're going to upgrade the chassis of the sports car. So we will grab a chassis from the supply and we're gonna cover up that space, ignoring the bonus that they get, okay? This is going to come into play when we get over into the assembly. More on that in a little bit. Advance the value of that car part. Well, that car part has now advanced there because it's been upgraded one time so it moves the hair it's worth two points awesome congrats Vital. thanks i lose two points because remember whenever they gain points i lose them right here we go done and then these two cards get discarded now i am going to yeah we'll do it this way I uh, have discards. Um, the bottom card of this is the reshuffle. Um, there are some other uh, rules there that come into play for reshuffling, but we will mess with that later. All right, so that now goes over into VTOL's area. Any questions on that? Y'all following along? Okay, and now he is done with his turn. He will stand up. Cool? Good? All right, good. Next, hey. David's going. All right. So let's take a look at his stuff. All right. So David is going into logistics. Okay. Now, again, you'll notice that the, the upgrade stuff only applies ever to VTOL. David, unfortunately, doesn't have that. So here we go. So logistics, he's going to collect parts once. Okay, choose a part using the selection card. So in this case, it's going to be the, it's not an engine, it's not a battery. It, I, it looks like a transmission, but that part there. Uh, he's going to remove all the parts of that type from the warehouse, keep one and discard the rest. So we take a look. I forgot, and you'll let me. Train, first things first. You know what? Let me double check, hold on. I think you're right. I think you're right. It's not going to be that one. It will be the one that was on the tile, which is going to be, is that navigation or autopilot, I think? So the autopilot will go there and the autopilot will move up. You're right. There we go. But it effectively, yeah. So the autopilot, my bad, my bad. We're good. We're good. Uh, right. So 
David's going to take the part here, there, done. Collectively, they're allowed to have seven parts between them. Obviously, uh, or they're allowed to have six, I, I'm sorry. If they gain a seventh, reduce down, discarding the type that is lowest on the upgrade value track, so whatever is the lowest value. And then I went ahead and grabbed a die to randomize if we need to as well. All right, cool? All right, so now we have seen what happens in R&D. We have seen what happens with logistics for the bots. Pretty simple, okay, good. But now we went ahead and hit up design. A moment while I have a, have a sip. Have a good one, Lars. All right, so don't forget, we has us a book. Books can be spent before, after on your turn in addition to shifts for training, right? So, we are currently on three times. So, we have three, but we really kind of have a fourth if we want to use the book. And training seems important. Important thing to note, things that are acquired, specifically bank shifts and books, can never be used on the turn that you acquire them. So, that's kind of a bummer. But I think we will go ahead and discard our book and advance one on the training track. Now, when it comes to tiebreakers, it's always higher point uh, here on the end or for the stack, whoever's there most recently. So you always go to the top. So it's better to be there afterwards, the more recently trained. So we still have three time. I mean, I kind of like the idea of getting two more in one design. Ah. But I really want two designs. I want this black one and I want that blue one. The, the car I can hold on to, the green one. And the fact that the green, this is not able to be upgraded, yeah, it's really not my favorite. Um, and exactly for that reason, Gusarino, I, because that part has already been upgraded, so it kind of makes sense. So I think I want both of those designs. So I'm going to take those two. That's going to give me a bank shift in a book. So the bank shift there in a book. But I cannot use these yet. So I'm just going to kind of set that off to the side yet. Um, so that's two actions. And for the third, I will go ahead and train. Three. Done. That's my turn, mostly. And I say mostly because now I'm going to throw that there. I have to grab my two designs. The order of these does not matter at all here. Okay. Um, yeah, no, I'm good with that. All right, so now these will shift down. So slide, refill. And top stack, top one, bottom stack, bottom one. And then if one of those stacks runs out, then the center stack will then work. I forgot to discard these from David. All right, that's it. Okay, hey Luke. All right, so now we go back to top to bottom, right? So now uh, I want, uh, this is starting turn two. So starting in turn two, the beginning, uh, deal uh, two playing cards in a column below the remaining playing card. So we're going to go one and we're going to go Two, okay. So now it is VTOL's turn to choose a new department, okay? So VTOL is going to come back here. Uh, 
This stack, and I'm, I'm going to kind of do this, so there we go, just so y'all can differentiate between, okay? So that's going to be the bottom card. So the bottom card will come over. All right, so he's going over to the bottom spot on design. Well, guess what? Yours truly is in the bottom spot. I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, in the bottom spot in design. So because I am already here, he cannot go there. So what does that mean? He goes to the next available spot, that is, and he will go over to admin. Done. And then we'll lay him down because he has already moved this turn. Cool? All right. So now, going working our way down, David goes. David will. It's going to be the bottom card. And that's going to be the assembly area. And that's going to be the top spot of assembly. That is available there. And now we will go. So now we have designs. Kind of like the idea of grabbing some parts. Start pushing some cars. We could upgrade. No, uh, I think I want, uh, I think logistics. How do y'all feel about logistics? Get, get us some parts to go along with the one that we have. What do y'all think? I mean, we could upgrade. Yeah, but the problem is the upgrade, we, we only have one available for us. I want parts. I think, I, I think we need parts. I really do. So I think we're going to go ahead and take the bottom spot on the parts space. And now Sandra is going to go. And Hey, Tillman. All right. Germany in the house. What's up? Glad you can make it. Uh, ch -ch 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 a moment. Just want to, just for the first time that we're doing this stuff, just want to make sure. All right. She's placed on the empty workstation on the next department going top to bottom. So she is going to go to R&D. And now the pain begins. All right, we have all, uh, we've all taken our uh, department choices and now we're going to go into the work phase, okay? All right, so remember, Sandra is going to do, she's gonna punish and then she is going to uh, punish <laughs> and then she's going to do something. All right, so. R&D to start off with. So looking at what Sandra is doing here in R&D, if you have the least training in Sandra's current department and you meet the criteria for the penalty, have two or few upgraded designs in this case, uh, this just in, we do. So you lose a point and then you lose a point for every bank shift you have less than five. One, two, three, four, plus one for having less than uh, two upgraded designs. That's going to be, uh, we're going to lose five points. All right, cool. Thanks, Sandra. You're awesome. Appreciate it. Okay, that's awesome. But now that she is in R&D, what is she going to do? She advances the pace car one space, advance any, any and all cars that are behind her, and then if the pace car moves onto a stripe space, triggers a meeting at the end of the day, but it doesn't. So, whoop, there we go. Sandra's done. Only lost, you know, a third of the points that we started with. That's no big deal, right? Okay, cool. 
All right. Easy enough? All right. So now David's going to go. David is over in assembly. And this is, I, th I would say, probably the most complex action that's there. Um, and I, 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 me and, uh, d d uh, that's a good question about whether or not ties count, it, I assume. Because even if it were David that lost the points, it's still me that loses the points. You know what I mean? It actually doesn't say. Yeah, uh, if you share a spot. There you go, Vici. Yep. All right. So there we go. All right. All right. So, oop, wrong one. Train. And now for assembly. So, Tertsi will provide a needed part once. When providing a needed part, empty any full assembly spaces. So if any of these were full, we would empty them, but obviously they are not, so we don't need to worry about that. Then use the selection card to choose a car part. In, um, so in this case, that is going to be electronics. So we grab that from the supply. Okay, depending on where Sandra is now. So now we're going to look at this on the back of the player aid, okay? Sandra's current location to determine the car model or uh, column of design. So if you notice that Sandra is in R&D, R&D is in the far left. That's gonna be for the black car. See how that works? She's in R&D, so a black car. All right, so we take a look at the black car. And then, the first thing that needs to happen, you're allowed to place any part that you wish that isn't already, already in there. So, since there are no parts already listed there, any part can be put there. And by any part, I mean, quite literally, any of the six parts. However, there is one thing that we need to keep in mind. Now, it doesn't come into play right now, but it's going to later on. You'll notice that for the sports car, the, call it navigation, the radar, the autopilot, whatever that is, that has already been upgraded. That must be the first part that gets placed down there if it hasn't already been placed down there. There can only be one autopilot per car. So if it's already been placed, great. But if it hasn't, that has to be the part. But since we're talking about the black car, the concept car, and there are no parts, then therefore it can be any part, so the electronics work just fine. Okay, so going back to then assembly, we will go ahead and put that down. And when we do so, we're gonna push a car. Every time a part gets added, we push a car. Now the order in which how this works has to do with which bot it is, whether it's David or Vital, okay? VTOL moves cars from top to bottom or bottom to top before moving left, and Tertsi always moves left when possible. Okay? So as I see that, and per that card, you'll see that on the left side here, okay, that it's going to be, the car is going to be pushing to the left and not pushing down. So therefore, this gets pushed, pushes this, that will go there, that will go there, that will go there, and I totally forgot to move the cars over because that's supposed to be out there. There, so a moment. There we go. Cool. Nothing got spit out onto the R&D track here. Nothing pushed, so nothing else happens.
Easy enough. Okay, good. All right. So, David, you are done. All right. Next, it's going to be us in logistics. All right, so we have three and we have a bank time. So we could do up to four here in logistics. Now, there are a number of things that we can do in logistics. Obviously, we can train. Uh, next, we can uh, gain a bank shift and then use one of our Kanban cards. This is out here as an example. Now would be a good time to explain this, using this one as the example. You can rotate these Kanban cards 180 degrees. So you can either have it this way or you can have it this way. And you see this dark gray line that's there. Four pieces, four parts are going to be on each side or on one side and two parts on the other. And then once you have decided, let's say I choose that like this. That dividing line dictates what parts get put, put into the various spots. So as you notice, if those match anything on this side of that line, then they would get filled. So that's why there are two green there. And then you'll notice that the, uh, call it transmission, the blue one, is below that gray line, so it doesn't get added here. Whereas if I chose to put it like this, it would, but then this one won't get added. But as it is there, we would add that, that, and that, because all three of those are below the line. And if I chose to do it something like this, I'm probably an idiot, I probably wouldn't do that with this card, but you get the idea, all right? You get a bank time and then you add parts when you do so, okay? Does that make sense? And then you will discard this card to the bottom of the stack and then you draw a new card. So that's option number one. Option number two, is take any number of parts from one warehouse. So I can either grab both of those or one of those. Now, I can spend multiple times, so I could do this theoretically three times and go one, two, three, and take all four of those parts if I want. We are limited right now to five spaces though, okay? And the last one is you can take, if you're certified, which we are not yet, but if you are, you can take a parts voucher. And a parts voucher, you can spend, whenever you need a part, you can spend it and grab it from the supply. It's only when you need a part, okay? Now, I should also go ahead, now would be a good time to talk about one other thing down here in the, uh, in the bottom left-hand corner. And that's recycling. Now, I'm gonna put these down here so they stand out a little bit better. There we go. Recycling is you can swap parts so you, as long as there isn't already a part down here, so I could throw a electronics down here and grab, say, uh, the pink marker, whatever that is, right? Um, there can just never be more than one of a given type. And if it's not there, obviously you can't swap for it. That makes sense? This is David's, so that's why it's here. All right, so that's recycling there. Uh, the first one to certify gets, what is that? In solo, first one to certify gets two points. Do you? Did I miss that? Where do you see that, Vici? Because I didn't see that anywhere that you get for the certification. Now, you do go up the certification track, which is going to be good, but I don't know about the two points and the three points thing. All right, drivetrain, that's it. Thank you, Solar Hymnos, all right? All right, we have a book and we have one bank shift. 
And don't forget, uh, let's see, I would like, uh, these are our Kanban cards that we have available to us. Neither of them is terribly exciting. Uh, all right, so I guess we need to get training is what you're saying. God, spending three time on that, though, is pretty gross. Um, all right, well, screw it. Here, we'll spend a book first off. There's one two, and three. Let's go and get certified, because I'm believing y'all, even though I can't find that in the rule book, but I believe you. So now that logistics, we now have unlocked, now that we are certified, that lock goes away, and we now have room for six parts, okay? All right. So we've now used a book, and then one, two. So we have one or two more actions here. Oh, no, there it is. Scoring for the training tracks. I totally missed it. First player, you or the colleague, to get certified gains two. The first player to get to the final space gains three. There you go. I found it. All right. Awesome. Let's take our two points, damn it. There. All right. Got it. Okay. So we have two more actions and potentially we have one for sure. I mean, let's go ahead and just, ah, the bank shift is nice though. Oh, you know what? Let's do this. How about this? How about we go and play that? Hmm. That would give us four parts and we could swap it out. I like that. Let's go ahead and put that. So that's going to give us a bank time. And let's go and add those two. So that's uh, not done. So then we get here and there as well. Yeah. All right. We'll get an electronics and a drivetrain. Or better yet, let's do that. We'll get an electronics and transmission, even though there isn't one. Uh, there we go. So that's done. That goes to the bottom. We draw a new card. The bottom card is the one we just drew. Okay. And now, so that was one, or training, one, two, that's three. That's all of our time. But we can go ahead and use one uh, our one bank time that we had. I think we probably should. So we had one there. And we'll go ahead and take these four. Because remember, we can always swap out over here as we need. Okay? I think that's okay. All right. Done. And now VTOL will go for admin. So are you all following along? Is this making sense? Yeah, I hope. All right, so admin. Lacerda, here we go. He's not certified, so first things first, train. Okay. 
Mr. Turtsy advances on one department's training track, the one corresponding to Sanders' location. Okay. Um, that's it. So wherever Sandra is, Lacerda is going to get one more. Awesome. And by awesome, I mean that sucks. There, I lose two points because he's already did that. And now, anytime Lacerda goes to R&D, he's going to get the certification bonus stuff. So he's going to be able to do it twice. Thank you. And I totally did forget that. Uh, let's back up one other thing. So, I certified. And Lacerda did as well. So, me first. So what do we want? I'm thinking a book again. Three points is nice though, but I think the book or the bank time. Those are the only two things that make sense to me. Thank you, Tillman. Um, the reason I said Lacerda Tertzi, uh, the way the rules read it, it explains Tertzi first, and then Lacerda says, does the same thing and does it twice if Lacerda is certified there. So there you go. Um, I think we got to go with the books, right? I think we do. So I will go ahead and grab another book because... Now that I know that the first one to get certified, I got to get certified on this stuff, right? Um, but time does reduce the, uh, the, the Sandra penalty. That is true. Um, and, and think of it this way. If we did the time, we could always spend that time as a training. But we already have one. <sighs> nope, we're going to take the book and that's that. All right. And because Lacerda certified, he will always take the first spot if available. And uh, David will always take the third spot if available. So help me remember that. Now, you guys also notice this here. So the first one to reach this gets that. So that absolutely has to be a, a, a plan for us. Um, so, yeah, um, in addition to a second one and something else, so, hmm, okay, so, VTOL, done. You know what? I think I did that wrong. Yeah, he wanted to go to design, not admin. That's my bad. So hold on. Let's back that up. Back that up two points. Back that up. And he should actually be there. So my bad. I just went to the wrong spot. Gah. You know what? And you are correct. They won't interact with that. You're right. They don't get it. So until I reach it, you're right. I, that's going to be for me regardless. You are correct. All right. So design. So now uh, Lacerda is not certified. He trains, which also means I should have moved that back one as well. All right. There. Takes two tiles corresponding to Sandra's location, and that's it. And if they're upgradable designs, um, they're put on the bottom of their design stack. If they're not, um, and they score two points and it gets returned. So let's look where Sandra is. Sandra is in uh, R&D, so it's going to be in those stacks. So he's going to grab two of those. Yep. 
So it'll be, oh, fuck. okay. So he's gonna grab this one and this one, and the fact that neither of them are upgradable, which means this, these two will go to the bottom of this, and they score, he scores two points for each of those. We go back four points, that's cool. Oh, shoot. Damn it, damn it, damn it. You're right, Bart. You're right. Or Fernando, Ken, Bart, all y'all. <sighs> See, a lot to juggle on this. You're right. Here we go again. So, back four, back two, because he's going to certify that. That will go there, and that goes there, and he's done. There we go. Hey, they! Yeah, because I was already in that spot. That's why I got confused. Yep, you're right. You're right. You're right. I should have. Whenever they skip that, you know what I should do? Just get rid of this card so I don't forget. So, good call. It happens. It happens. All right. All right. So, we are done. So, now Sandra uh, will move. And she will go... Man, it's easy to get confused, though. Yeah. Yep, okay. So Sandra then will come on down. She will move to their next apartment, first available space. So she's done there. Okay, and now, so that's done. So now David will go. So we will flip out one, two. So David, it's gonna be the top card. Top card is going to be for admin now. And admin, he wants to go to the top spot. That's available, done. Now it becomes me. Bump there, that should have moved back. There we go, yep, I think we're all straight now. So now that we have parts and everything, I think now's the time to start pushing some cars. So let's go ahead, oh, wrong one, sorry. We'll go to there. I think so. Yeah, I think so. which then means that will go there. All right, Jesus. Kids? <laughs> All right, so Lacerda. Lacerda now is going to here. There we go. Oh, actually, that was a hell of a guess on the top. I should have, hmm. How did, wait, there should only be one? That shouldn't be there? Golly, I am messing stuff up left and right. I apologize, y'all. Uh, so he's gonna go to logistics, I apologize. And that will be on the bottom spot. There should only be one of these. So it's top and top, yeah, there we go. God. See? See? That's why I was worried. All right, we're up first. Oh, I went to the wrong spot, didn't I? I can't go where Sandra is. I just realized that. I wanted to go there. Screw it, maybe we just focus on training this turn. 
Yeah. All right. So let's do R&D, y'all. So R&D, we got three time. We're going to go ahead and spend our one book. So there's going to be one and then one two time there. That's going to be two points because first. And then that is for the R&D track. And the R&D track says our double point upgrade for uh, whenever we... Um, double upgrade for points. We can upgrade. I can. It is an option. Um, but I'll be honest, I really want to focus on the training. I'm just tired of getting beat up for that. So, so that was one, one, two, and we have one more. And we could do an upgrade. I think we actually will. I think that actually makes sense to go ahead and do one. So, we will upgrade the blue car since we have the other blue. I like that idea. Yeah, I like that idea. Yeah, all right. So, we're going to go ahead and upgrade to start. So, place a car part on any upgrade space. All right, so looking at that. I think we'll go we're not going to get evaluated because we're not the lowest train now so I'm not worried about it so we will that car do we get a bank shift I kind of like the idea of getting a bank shift Three points is not something to sneeze at, though, right? <sighs> mm. You know what? Let's get the bank time here. There. That's going to advance that there. And now we upgraded this one with that part. So that is now an upgraded design. That will go over there. That's going to be worth two points. Uh, sorry, that... Um, Yeah, no, we actually get the two points now. So let's get those. In addition to that, once we have three upgraded designs, we're going to be able to get that as well for a factory goal. Okay. Now, the other thing is we could do another upgrade if we want. Now, that is our three time, but we do have a bank shift. Well, technically, I would say we, we're going to gain the one that we are about to spend. And I think we will. Because if we look here, even though I don't have either of those parts, there's recycling and both of those are available. Um, let's go and get another bank shift, shall we? So I am going to take this and turn this into that, then this is going to then upgrade that design as well, there. So that's going to be on the black car, and that's gonna be another bank shift. So that's two bank shifts. I spent w the one that I had, and now I get two more, and that will advance this Let's go ahead also and go ahead and spend this now. So we'll just get rid of it. And that's going to get that a double bump, and I get to score those points. So I'll score the five now. 
plus another two for the, so for the uh, upgraded design, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm okay with that. And that way I keep the blue car for, uh, to put into my, uh, into my garage. I like that. I like that idea because it's likely the blue car is going to get pushed and I can use the blue design to claim the blue car, which then has an upgraded design, so uh, which will become a tested design. I like that idea. So I'm done. I think that was a pretty productive turn, I think. Okay. All right. So now Sandra <laughs> is going to judge harshly. All right. So first things first. She is over in assembly. Have two or fewer cars in my garage. I'm last. Um, I do. So I'm going to lose a point for that. And I'm going to lose three more. So for a total of four points. Thanks, Sandra. And by thanks, I mean thanks. And then her task is to remove all the parts that are over here. So, all right, done. That was a minor thing for this. But Sandra is done. All right, everyone's where they should be, making sure. So Lacerda now, here, yeah, I don't want to move him yet. First things first, in logistics, he's going to train. And then issue a Kanban order, check Sandra's location for the car placement, and then select a part. And then that's it, because he's not certified. So, here we go. Because it's the first time he has gone there, we're going to grab a logistics card, probably going to be facing that way. And based on where Sandra is, Sandra is in... Because basically Sandra's above where this gray line is, she's up over there. So that means four will be there. And the double side matching the warehouse. So it's going to be like that and then going to fill everything per the normal rules. So that's going to be two on the autopilot, one on there, and one on the electronics and that's it this gets buried all right so then VTOL says he's going to grab the chassis so there we go he grabs that one and that's it, correct? Because he is by, he is not certified. So he will take that. These will go away. He is done. Did I not train here? Grr, did I forget that? Lacerda always starts at the two spot. So I'm pretty sure the R&D is correct, Tillman. But the only question I have is, did I move that at the beginning of his turn? <sighs> Frustrating. I need like a little whiteboard that I can, did I, did I train for them every time? I told you guys. And I should be up there. You are correct. Golly. Told you. Told you this was going to happen. 
Um, so now I get this. When I get this, if those are not all full, there, and that goes back into the supply. So now for the meeting, we have that. There we go. Okay, I did. Phew, I did bump him. All right, so he's done. Y'all are, I appreciate the help. I do. All right, so now, there we go, all right. So now Tertsi is going to advance one here and then one where Sandra is. Sandra is up here. He's going to go there. Boom, done. There we go. All right. Oh, yeah, I get a second one. I get one for that and then one for that. Good call. Right. Thank you. Sheesh. Shouldn't be this hard to track, Edward. All right. So, done. All right. So, I'm first. Still can't go where Sandra is. This is killing me. Um... Maybe we go get more designs, A, for that, but also B, for training to get that done. Y'all have got me paranoid about the training. So, yeah. I like, I think I like that idea. So I will go there. Sandra will move down one VTOL. Top card. That kind of sucks because he will go there. And then Tertsy will go. I don't know why I'm putting him up there. Uh, Tertsy will go to the top spot there. Okay. So this is, for all intents and purposes, done. So we'll just do like that. Okay. All right. Sandra's up. Sandra's in logistics. Have two or fewer car parts on your player board. Well, again, first off, if you have the least training and on the same page as that. Okay, oh, I'm right, okay. So, uh, no, actually, one thing I wanted to double check was that I know it's not going to be me, but the, for training and Sandra, hey Derek, hey Tony. So I don't know where it says that the bots don't face it, but here we are in logistics, and clearly I'm not the one being judged, so we're going to skip it. So we don't have to worry about her judging me anymore. She removes all but one car part from each warehouse. So there, 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 and there, gone. And Sandra is done.
That makes sense, I hope. All right, so now Tertsy will go there. And for designs, he takes two based on where Sandra is. Sandra is in logistics, so we're going to take the third column. So these two will then go into the bottom of that stack right there. And I believe that is it. So these will move over. Kind of sucks because I was planning on taking one of those. Done. All right, so our turn. Well, we don't have a book. We do have a bunch of bank time. But let's go ahead and spend one to go and get certified. And when we get certified, that was, where are we? We're over in design. Design is going to be unlock that one there. Okay. The bots don't get judged, they just stop you from getting judged. All right, well, that's fine. So we're looking at stuff that has already been upgraded, and as you can see, only the, um, only the autopilot's been upgraded, and there are none of those available, but, but, that and that are, and I am allowed to take those because I am now certified. So uh, I think for one, and that is my second action, is that we will take. Uh, and for our third design, I think we could say ah, that green car is good for claiming the green ones, but I don't know if I want to do that yet. <sighs> you know what? It gets us an extra book or the time. Ah. Screw it, we're gonna need it. Let's go and take that one, which gets us a book as well, which we can't spend right now, I understand. So that is all. We could do one more if we want to spend a time. We could get one of these and then basically just get the time for free. And the certification track I will do here momentarily. Uh, I think I will spend the one time to go and grab one more. And this is available out in the recycling. So I think, yeah, let's go and offset the time that we would spend to grab that. I'm good with that. So then we're gonna go ahead and bump up here to the third certification. Now I'm thinking we get a couple of bank time. We already have one book. I think so. Let's go ahead and grab that, and that'll be one, two, and we're done. Okay. So these slide there and there. And if I was thinking, I probably should have grabbed that one, but that's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So I am done. All right, well, this sucks because he's here. So that will go one, that will go one. At least I won't lose the two points for that, but I do lose the two points for that one and he's done. Oh, he's now certified. So because he is certified, he's going to advance one more. Now the question is, which one? Is it the one he's on or the one Sandra is? Let me look. The one Sandra's in. So this goes one more there because he is certified there now. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, we are done. Sandra. All right, so now this, she will move down here, which means she goes to her office. Now, a moment. 
That should be the end of the week. Correct? Yeah, okay. This, this market will advance after we do everything this week. Okay. So she has moved there. And now, oh, I should have gotten rid of these. My bad. All right. So now... Put it in the discard pile, continue drawing when the columns fill with three. If there's a reshuffle card at the top of the discard, da 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 da. Okay, we shuffle and then continue drawing. And I believe that this will be a part of that. So we'll just shuffle that. Okay. Yeah, one more action first and then we will go through. All right. All right. And there. Okay. So now we are at David. David will take the bottom card. He's going to logistics. Top spot. Finally, finally, we are going there. And now Vital will take the bottom card. He's going to logistics. Party at logistics. Yeah, that sucks because that, I'm gonna, oh well. Just to look, because if he reaches the final space before I do, the speech token's discard, uh, discarded and he scores a point. But I can still get the award, but I lose the speech bubble. All right, all right. He's at one, two, he should move up to there. Good call. Thank you. All right. Here we go. So we have three, potentially more. Well, one, or not one, but there. Do we go two, three, or do we push cars? I mean, I know we have to push at least one car. So, here we go. Oh, God. Did I screw this up? Oh, yeah, 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 I did. Son of a... So, what I'm upset about is these are the parts that I have available. These are the parts that are available, and I need a autopilot because I have upgraded that first for the blue car, to be able to do the blue car, I have to have an autopilot and I don't have it. Because then I would get a speech bubble and it would push a blue car. Yeah. And I don't have a parts voucher to fix that problem. Well, Okay. I can only, uh, I can only push one car. Oh, mistakes have been made. But I can't push the black at least. No, I can't because the black, same problem. So nothing is going to push a car out. Oh, that is so unfortunate. Well, we will do 
that first off. Oh, plan better, Edward. So this only can move straight. Brings a new car out. Because I only have those type of parts. Oh, you know what? Actually, now I can. I can push a gray. Yep, exactly, Christopher. I don't think the bots ever recycle, do they? I don't remember reading anything about them recycling. No, I don't think so. So I will then take another battery Oop. and there, and we will push that, which pushes that, which pushes that, which pushes that. So there there, there, and there. So this will come out. That'll score me two points, but unfortunately it's not one of the two demands. So this will then come over there, but two points is two points. So that is two of our actions. Nah, I'm not going to back it up and do that. No. Um, You are correct, Bart. If and only if the one remaining playing card has one or more parts depicted at the bottom, choose another part by flipping a selection card. If the part from the selection card forms a valid recycling pair with a part, da 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 da, -da make the swap, otherwise recycling doesn't change. So I've been missing that. So I will start doing that. Yep, I will start doing that at the end of this day. So that's my bad. Damn it. And this is why I always do multiple playthroughs of VTOL's games. It's impossible to keep it all straight for me while also running the stream. So, all right. So that is one, two. That'll be three and a bank time four. And we'll go ahead and get certified for that. So bank time goes back. All right, well, so we will go and get another speech bubble for sure. And I think at this point, do we start looking about thinking about points? Hmm. Ah, bank time. Boop. Done. And another speech bubble. So, there. That's the, oh, and that goes away as well, which we can grab two of those whenever we get a car in our garage, when and if, all right? Uh... And yes, I can grab the green car with that, exactly. So, all right. Done. All right, logistics now. Here we go for David. Let's 
select a part, and the part will be... Uh, using the card, just making sure. So, David's card is there, so he will take that one. And he goes there, and he's done. Vital goes there, speech bubble goes away, I lose a point. And then he will do a Kanban card. Sandra is in admin, so it'll be below. So the double side will go there, so it'll be like so. There we go. Have a good one, Brian. All right, so let's see. Two there. One, one and one. And he will, he's taken those, empties it and takes one of them. So that kind of sucks. So what he took, he took one and the other two, they just filled, he threw away. That hurts. And then he takes an additional part and the second one, he's going to take what's on uh, David's card, which there aren't any. So then flip another card and it'll be that. So he takes one, and that goes away. Whee! All right, those go away. All right, so Sandra now is at home. Stop that. Well, first off, end of the day. If the one remaining plan card has one or more parts depicted on it, it does. It has the blue one, which is here. Choose another part by flipping a selection card. If it's a pair with a part on the plan card, the one that's present in recycling and the other one isn't, no, nope. then uh, make the swap. Otherwise, it doesn't happen, so nothing happens. On that. Okay. Okay. So now, end of the week. When Sandra performs her uh, departmental task, which here, be certified in two or fewer departments. So she looks at me, am I certified in two or fewer? No, I am certified in more than two. So I don't have to worry about that. Yay. And now we go into end of week scoring, okay? Uh, for each car in your garage, well, I have no cars in my garage, so I score nothing. However, the colleagues score two points for each upgraded design tile that they have. They have one. Uh, and the tiles are then removed from the game, so I don't get double penalized. So that is out of the game, and I lose two points. There we go. Cool. All right. That's the end of the week. Done. Here we go. I can claim the car. Yeah. I need parts, but I, and I can't go there because they're both spots are blocked.
Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. What do we do? Um I need parts vouchers. Easiest way to get them? Here. Can't get them. So You know what I could do? We have a little bit for the meeting. Oh, good call. There it is. Good call. So I will come down to admin. There you go. I can't go there. Sandra's there. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I could go to R&D and go and claim the car and then train up all the way, get the extra speech bubble, which I can't do yet. Nah, never mind. Well, that's exactly, Tillman, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I will go up to R&D. All right, so now, David is taking a top car. He's going to R&D. Vital, take the bottom card, and he'll go to the designs. And Sandra skips R&D, and we'll go there. All right, so David trains first and foremost, and then upgrade a design from the stack. Advance that part, so here it's going to be on to so the green car now is going to get upgraded here, and it will be points first, I believe it was, right? Or, yeah, what is it? That is not on the uh, little play raid. Highest points, then bank shift. So highest points, yeah, I was right, there. That will come over to there. Advance that. Take the car with the highest value. Well, there went that. Okay. Thanks, David. Glory to Rome to you for that. Our turn. Well, I guess we're not taking the car. <laughs> uh, we'll go and train two, which gives us another speech bubble. Now, here's the thing. We're full up, so we get to just hold on to this one right there. So there's that for either when we unlock it or on a different turn. So there's that. And then get to grab that. And what's that get us? I got us a book. So we discard this out of the game. Get us a book that we can't use right now, but it doesn't matter because we are completely maxed out anyways. So that is two. Um, and <laughs> we need the car part or to be able to trade it in. The problem is we can't trade it in, why? Because there's already one there. So that last shift is wasted. Oh, that's gross. 
Oh, that's terrible. Oh, oh, that was nasty. Okay. Assembly. I don't have to worry about it here. And the good news, I guess, is she wipes these. Done. Sandra's done. Now, Vital. Vital is not certified yet. Uh, I did move that, I think. So now he is certified. So when he is certified, what does he do here? Take two designs and take uh, an additional from the central stack. So where is Sandra? Sandra is there, so it's going to be in that one for the blue one, because she is in uh, design, uh, assembly, sorry. So the fourth stack. So takes this and one from the central stack, and then this one gets buried, and hey, I lose two points. Oh, right, when he took the car, that should have pushed the pace car. Good call. Yep. I just really didn't think he was going to do that. So my bad on assuming. And we're done. All right. So these are done. Uh, end of the day. Nope, there's no part on it. David, top card, goes to admin. And now us, now we can go to logistics if we want. I mean, I think we need to, right? Yeah. It's not as vital. She's not going to judge. She, I actually want to go after her, I think, because I don't want the electronics. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Done. Sandra will come down here, and then Vital will take the top card. He cannot go there, so he goes the next there. All right. All right, Sandra's first. So Sandra, I don't need to worry about. And she's going to wipe all but one in each. So done. Okay. All right, our turn. We're going to go ahead first off and play a Kanban card. Eh. Um, I guess we play that one. And I think, I think we do it like that. Yeah, I'm fine with that. So there will be one there. One. And there. And then we draw another. And that's what we drew. Okay. And we get a bank time when we do it, but we can't spend it, but we have plenty. So I'll just go ahead and add it now. So that was one. I mean, that's got to be two. Ah, hold on. You know what? Let's go ahead and play another Kanban card for our second action. One there. and one there.
The other question is, do we do it that way instead? Because if so, then... Eh, I don't think it really matters. So that's good. And that's another bank time. And here's the card that we drew. So that's two. And I think we do three. And four, but we can only take two of them. And I don't think we waste the other. I think it stays there whenever you take that. Oh, shoot. That's your, you're 100% right, guys. You can only play one Kanban card per. God bless it. You're right. You're right. All right, so let's see. I have to give one of those back, that goes away, and that would come over. That still works out okay. So that's three actions so far. Right? Yeah. So that card comes back to me. The other one goes back. I think it was the, I think it was that one. It's fine. There. Damn it. So back it up, one back, bank time. All right, so that's three actions. We could stop there or we could train once. Or we could take a parts voucher for a fourth. You know what? I'll go ahead and spend one time and take a parts voucher. There. There we go. All right. So I'm done. Now, moves once, moves once, and then they move where uh, Sandra is. So moves once and cannot, but let's see. If they cannot move, is that, I believe it's forfeit. Yeah, that's, that's it. Okay. It's not so bad. And done. Um, I'll be honest, I've totally punted on looking at those for the meeting because this, we have one, maybe, no, we have two actions left. So now, now be a good time to look at what, um, what we need to do for the meetings. Good call. Probably a little late in the game for that, well, for this meeting at least, but yeah. By the way, there, and... Nope, they're both empty, so nothing happens. Okay. So that will go there. We will reshuffle after this. All right, so Sandra will move there. Let's take a look. All right, so a bunch of cars in our garage. Doesn't look good. If we can push cars this turn, that might actually could happen. So maybe. Uh, books, not, not so good. I have one. Uh, upgraded designs for electronics, also not good. And cars in garage two and three, also not great. So what do we have? Green cars. Well, that was going to happen. Um, parts voucher. Hmm. Upgraded design for, no. And uh, bank, a book time. Hey, at least there's one. So, honestly, I think we go ahead and start pushing some cars this turn, and then we claim cars next turn. And I think we're in an all right position to do this this turn. I think I've planned this. I think I'm okay now. Okay. So I will go there. Oh! 
I'm okay if they go ahead of me, so I'm willing to take that risk. So it's going to be David. He goes to admin. He can't, so he goes to the first spot. So he will go there, and then we will shuffle these. So is it making sense for everybody? It's hanging out, still here. Definitely makes me want to play it again soon. And then Vital takes the bottom card. The bottom card will go exactly. Oh, he can't go there because I'm blocking it. So he will go there. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right. So David goes there. And then upgrades a design. So he is going to upgrade the chassis on the blue car. Most points there. So he will go there. Advance the part. Oh, you know what? I don't think I went back two points for this, so I actually will go back four on that. And there's no cars for him to take, so he doesn't take any. He's done. For us, here we go. Yeah. All right. So we can push the green car. We can push, push the blue car. Maybe we push both. Let's go ahead and uh, hook up the green car first. So the green car, I have to place a chassis first, a frame. Oop, there. So we have one. So for the green car, we will, I think that's what we want to do. I lied. We want to do the blue car first. And the blue car needs one of, or those have to be the first two that go out. I do have the autopilot. So I will go ahead and do the blue car first. So the blue car, there, there, there. And I'm going to push the green out there so we get two points. The green car then will come over and go there and two points, done. Then we push the green car with the part that I'd already placed. That's going to just push straight out. We get two points, and because it's demand, we get one of these bad boys. So that'll go onto my player board to hang out. And another two points. And that will go there. Okay, so that's two. And looking at this, now that I have put a chassis out here, I can put anything else for the green car if I wanted to push that. And obviously the SUV, I can push with anything, but this one I cannot unless I get a chassis. Now, there is a chassis over here and there's no frame. So I actually could push the blue again if I wanted, and that will push a black car out. But I think I would rather push the SUV. So honestly, I think what I will do is take one of the chassis, go ahead and put it over here in recycling, grab one of the 
mm -hmm. or I guess that that's the frame chassis, whatever. So there, so this then, and I will do that on the blue car. And I will push that out. There, that'll be another two points for that. And I can spend a book time to do another if I wanted. I'm kind of leaning towards pushing that black car out. Because black cars are going to be worth six points at the end if they're in the garage. <sighs> mm. I can't quite get super cer certified because that's three, so I could only get one more push there. So I think I'd rather... No, uh, there is a limit of four cars, but it's four cars behind the pace car, I believe. I am fairly certain that's the case, that not including the pace car. Yeah, no, it's four cars behind the pace car. So I can go one more. It's safe. So I think I will, actually. And I will go ahead and... That will be for the green I will push. There, pushing the black out for two points. And I'll put that on its side since it's black so you all can see it. There we go. And that was one time there, done. All right, Lacerda can't go up there. So he clearly is certified. So... Kanban card for him. And uh, let's see, Sandra is below, so this will be four down like that. So it'll be one there. One and two of those. So there's the Kanban card. Then he's going to take two parts. So he will take a chat or the, the frame and then the battery. So he will take this and this, and that will go away. This gets buried. And that is now seven. So now that they are at seven, One of those goes away, and the one that goes away is the one that is worth the least amount. The least amount would be blue, green, or black. And you know what? So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Canted. Three, so it's going to be one of these. Done. There you go. And he is done. Sandra is going to look over here for designs. Have two or fewer designs on your desk? Well, it doesn't matter. So there, nothing happens. 
Shuffle and return the four rightmost designs to the bottom of the central stack. And then slide and refill. So these four get shuffled. Good enough. Those go to the bottom of that. And done. Oh, sorry. That was Sandra. Done. All right. These go away. And we're going to shuffle. So there is one. And there was nothing at the bottom of that, so nothing happened. So this is David, goes to admin. For me, let's claim so. <laughs> Do we risk it? Do we risk it? Because that is there. No, I guess we don't. So we will take that. It would have been safe, come to find out. So he can't go to logistics, so he will go there, and Sandra will go back to her desk. And then, that is end of the week. Give me one sec. Did I screw something up here? Or something else, I should say. Nope, I'm good. Okay. All right. So we're up first. Finally, let's get some damn cars, shall we? All right. So we have two time. We're probably going to go ahead and spend the two to, uh, to do something with it. All right. So to claim cars, first and foremost, depending on the distance behind the pace car, it's going to cost one, two, two, or three time to claim that car. So we want to go ahead and claim the green car to start with. And looking at this, to be able to do so, you have to return a design to the bottom of the central stack. I'm going to choose this one that can't be upgraded. Okay. So that will go away. Oh, hold on. This will go to the bottom of the central stack. I will take the green car. Uh, because it was directly behind, that's going to cost me one of my two time on that. I have to place uh, it in one of the garages. And then what do we want? Well, I think getting some books would be good. Because if we get some books, then that's going to be right before meeting. That seems to make sense. So I'm thinking we go ahead and put that car right there. We immediately get that. I'm not going to use them this turn anyways, so I'm just going to go ahead and hoover them up there. Okay, and that is done. All right, so now all of the cars will advance, I believe. Let me double check. I believe they advance, but the pace car doesn't move until I'm done. That I know. I don't think so. Nope, I don't think I move them yet. So, I then will go ahead and take the... Hmm. 
blue car. And the blue car is going to cost me two times, so that's going to be one of my bank shifts, because that. So I will take that one. And this will, where do we want to put it? Thank you, Paul. Um, let's go and grab a couple parts about, uh, you know what? Yeah, because the two and the three, that makes sense. So we'll grab the two parts vouchers as well. Yep, good call on for that. There. So that one's done. And we've only claimed two, so we can't, nothing on the factory goal. And that's it. At the end of the turn, advance the pace car once per car claimed, and then advance the cars to close the gap. Check for a meeting. Then it goes one there and one there. So meeting's going to happen. That will come there. And then all the cars catch back up. And because I don't want to forget to move it, done. That was a pretty damn productive turn, at least. I think so. I think so. All right. So Vital will advance that one for his action. He's going to take two for where Sandra is. Sandra is in admin, so going to take from the far right column. So that'll get taken, and then that gets buried, and that'll be two points. So back two. Take an additional, additional from the stack. I guess that goes to the bottom. There we go. And then these will slide and refill. Okay, Vital's done. David will go one there, and then it will go one more because Sandra is in admin. Go there. Probably had to do something about that. All right, now with admin. Now we're going to do uh, end of week scoring. So first off, she is going to look at me because I'm here. I'm certified in at least two departments. And I have, I don't lose any points, so never mind. So end of week scoring. For each car in your garage. So, oh, first off, we're gonna have to move some stuff. That is going to go there. That is now a tested design. So, a moment. For each car in your garage, you get one point for each upgrade that has been made to that model, regardless of who's made that, and a point for each tested design you have for that model. Tested meaning you have it upgraded and you have a car in there. So, we then take a look over here at the R&D for the blue car. That is going to be one, two, three, so that's three points per blue car. That's cool. So I'll get three points for that. And for the green, will be one point because of that. So it's going to be a total of four points. That's cool. Two, three, four. And they get, for end of the week, they have two upgraded, so I lose four points for these. These then are removed from the game, and I lose four points. Whee! Done. That's the end of the week. And now we're going to have a meeting. Okay. 
make sure I get this right now. All right, in certifi certification track order normally. So it'd be me, then Vitzal, then David. Because they, oh wait, hold on. David is, cert I've messed up. David is certified on one, two. David should be there. So it's still me, Vitzal, David, normally, okay? However, let's go through this. In certification track order, perform the meeting as normal with the following changes. Colleagues don't play performance goals, nor do they interact with yours, and I'll explain that here in a minute. Lacerda has a number of generic speech tokens equal to the number of meetings, so in this case, this is meeting number one. He picks cards to play speech tokens on from left to right, starting with the leftmost card and Tertsi always takes three generic speech tokens. So, Vitaal's gonna take one. David's going to take three. But we're up first, so first things first. Now, how this works is in turn order, so I get to play one, then, or then Vitaal, then David. I can play on any of these, or I can play any of mine. Now, I must play one of mine. On my turn, I have two choices. I either play one on a card that is already out there that's been played, or I play one of mine. If I have not played one of mine, then I cannot pass. So each uh, meeting, I'm gonna play one of these. I'm gonna draw more, but I digress. So, I think for the first action, looking at this, I already have that. That's worth eight points, potentially. This is worth six. Um, this is worth six to me because I have two cards in my garage. However, David's going to go here first and Vital's going to go there first. So I'm going to go ahead and take one of mine and go ahead and claim that because I have a car in garage number two and three, I will immediately score eight points. So a moment while I score eight points, that puts us at 20. Done. Then Vital goes, picks cards left to right, and scores the maximum available multiplier, multiplier for each such card. Ugh. So he's going to play one so I lose nine points for that. That hurts. And then David is going to go right to left, scores as if he has a single multiplier for each such card. So that will go there. So by my count, that's nine and four. That's 13 so far. After the meeting, you have to play two of your remaining three performance goal cards at the end of it, then draw two, et cetera, et cetera. Um, all right, so I'm going to lose 13 so far. That, that feels good. Back to seven. Um, okay. So we have three more that we can play on. I mean, I know I can play this. But the question I have is the order in which they play them. One, two, one, two, three. You're right. All right, that's right. Okay.
And when I play my card, where exactly does it go for the bots to be able to play on? Because when you play a card, you are not allowed to play a speech token on it. Near the medium, it does, yeah, so I don't know how that works. Huh. I don't think you can claim it immediately, can you? Or is that changed in this version of the game? Oh, you have to place it on that goal. That's changed. Okay, never mind. So if that's the case, I'll go ahead and play this one because I have to. And technically, I guess, we'll go ahead and scoot these over. That'll go there, and I will play that. I have three of those. That'll be six points. But Vital's done, and now David will now play on that for minus two. So six, that's four. And I will go ahead and play this one for that. That's, I'm at four, I'm now at 10 for that. And David will then score that for four. So I'm back to six points. And I'll go ahead and throw my last bubble out for another six, because I have two different cars in my garage. So that's going to be a total of 12 points. 12 and 7 is 19. Meeting adjourned. All right, I have to play two of my remaining three cards. Okay. Okay. Okay, apparently David doesn't play on mine, so then it's still a wash. So if he didn't play on that, he would have played on that. So it's still two points, doesn't matter. Okay, so all these will go away. Now these speech bubbles, I do not get them back, unfortunately. These will go back into the supply. And all those cards will get wiped. But here's the good news. I have two of these, so I'll trade those in for that for the next meeting. Yay. All right. Now, I have to choose two of these. Uh, I mean, this one makes sense, right? So I'll choose that one for sure. And... The bank time feels pretty good. I don't have any of those. And there is only one of those visible even, but it is for the blue car. And that is possible. And I am gonna wanna grab that one for the blue car. So you know what? We'll go ahead and do that one as well. Throw that out there. Two. So now I'm gonna draw two more for out here. I don't know what those are. Let's see. Uh, the third one, the second from the right, is four for being certified in the department depicted. So it's a four point, and that one is for R&D. And the last one is two points for each design on your player board. Eh, up to three. That's cool. All right, and then we're going to draw two more for us. Correct, it's two more. Well, that one is a no-brainer. Really? 
redraw up to four. So I guess one more. All right, cool. And technically, these are supposed to be shuffled and then placed out there. So the order is random. Hey, Derek, appreciate the support earlier today. Thanks. Have a good one. All right, cool. Meeting adjourned. That goes back. Y'all have seen the whole game now. All right. All right, so I'm up first now. So there, what do we need to do? Um, would like to get that black car. But I don't have any of their designs. What do we want to do? I want designs, but unfortunately VTOL's in my way. Parts would be good, because I only have the one uh, frame. I think we go, I think we go designs. So, I think it's worth it there. All right, so these go away. All right, so Vitals first, take top one. He's going to R&D. And David. is going to assembly. Sandra will go right there. All right, so Sandra's up first. So clearly don't have to worry about her up there. Advance the pace car space one. The end, so there, there, and there. And Sandra is done. And now VTOL trained and he is now certified. Upgraded design. So that's going to get upgraded. That will go here. And you know what? I've been forgetting to put out parts. Damn it. So hold on. These should match up. No, actually, I haven't. Never mind. I've been doing it right. We're good. So that will be one on the red car. Uh, there. There. Scores three points. And takes the car behind the pace car. There. Upgrade an additional design. So the green gets that so that gets upgraded so that's going to be three that's going to be five and he takes the black car awesome thanks VTOL glory to realm and when he does so But the pace car does not advance on that. So that's going to be five points back. Back to 14. Okay. And thank you. Uh, I, didn't I move him? I, I could have swore I already moved him up on the, on the track. Yeah, on the uh, certification. Oh, on, there we go. My bad. Thank you. Certification track, not training. My bad, my bad. All right, you're done. David moves up the certification track. Hey, look at that. I'm actually trying to remember these now. There. Let's 
selects a part per this, so it's going to be electronic. Check where Sandra is. Sandra is in R&D. So because she's in R&D, that's going to be the black car. The black car, he cannot, cannot build on the, uh, do that one. So, he cannot because the black car needs autopilot and that's electronics. So, it can't be that one. So then, moving our way here, the green car has that one met, not that one, can't be the green car. The blue car has both of those, so it can be the blue car, so it's going to be the blue car. All right? So the blues are going to get pushed and will push in if possible. So, so the green is going to come out, that's going to go there, that's going to go there, that's going to go there, and that is going to go there. So I lose two points, nothing else happens here. This goes out for the pace car. There, I lose two more. And because, nope, never mind. Oh, sorry. It should have pushed straight. It's David, not Vital, so it should be the blue car, not the green. Should have pushed that, which means it would have been one point. So, there we go. All right, David's done. I'm up. moment some tea so are y'all enjoying this so we have two well now that the <laughs> black car is gone there's that um No, Ed, I'm pretty sure, so the rule, it just says you take the car, it doesn't say anything about the pace car being moved. So I think we take that one for one. That'll give me a bank time. I have plenty, so I'm not worried about that. I can take up to one more. I have spot for one. Hmm. I don't know what one to take. Black cars are going to be a while. Red cars are a lost hope. So probably that'll be an upgrade. That'll be taking a blue car. We could take the green because at least that, or actually that'll be an upgraded design so I need so upgrade upgrade so what I'm looking at here is that's going to be an upgrade that's going to be an upgrade that's going to take a blue car this is crap so You know what? Maybe it won't be so bad. It's it's the lowest value car. That's the only problem. Um, but it could be another upgrade, which might not be terrible. Yeah, screw it. Let's do it. There we go. So that's going to be our two time. And then 
We got books. Let's go ahead and spend the, uh, the two books. Pink. So we'll get that, which will get discarded, and I will get that. And then here, hey, two points. That's cool. And another three for getting to the end. So that's going to be a total of five points. That's cool. Five puts us to 18. And that's it, because I have no more room for designs. Done. End of the day. That is a frame. And a, they're both out there, so never mind. Okay. Okay, so Sandra, we'll move there, those go away, those go away. So that'll be VTOL, bottom card, he can't go there. He can't go there, so he'll go to logistics. Awesome. Thanks for that. Appreciate it. You're a pal. That's sarcasm. Top card, that is logistics. Y'all two are just hanging out. All right. Where do we want to go? Uh, I would like to upgrade to some designs, but unfortunately, I would like to get more parts first. So we can go to admin at least. Yeah, I think we will. I think we'll go to admin. That way we can do that as well, right? Okay. That'll work. So I said I'm going to get rid of these when they can't go in the right direction. Okay. Oh, the best solo is the gallerist. Um, for, for any of these, I think. Um, okay, so Sandra. Don't have to worry about evaluation there. And she is removing all the parts. Okay, done. David. There. And select a part, David, electronics, there. But that's now seven, so the lowest value, that one just gets thrown away because it's either that or, yeah, I guess, hold on. Odd will be that, even will be the battery. There, odd, so it worked out. Done. And now VTOL, can't go any higher, but it's a Kanban card. Sandra's up top, so it'll be like this. There, and then two here, and then that's actually what he's going to take based on this. So two come out, but they both go away and he takes one, done. And then the lowest value is going to be the green one. That goes away. They're still at six. He's done. Our turn. So we're at two. Now we could do some training here. But I want resources, I want, or I want parts. So let's look at what we need. We have that for that upgrade. I want one of those for an upgrade and I want that for an upgrade. So I want those two for sure, and then possibly that for a third. So I have room for five. One, two, three, four, five. 
That's three actions. That'll do. And that cost me one time. Do I want to spend a book? And one more time to go ahead. Might as well to try and, yeah, might as well. So one time there and one book. Last book that we have. Done. All right. Sandra skips here, comes there. And there are two here. And then we will shuffle. So what do we have here? Uh, chassis and, uh, neither are there. So never mind. Okay, still doesn't happen. Amazing. You're right. It really doesn't happen that often. So these get shuffled. I do have vouchers. That's a good point. Thank you. I forgot about that. But, or it's also points, right? Okay. It's a whole lot easier to do this, obviously, when I'm not streaming, right? But... Okay, these go away as well. All right, David, you're up. Bottom card, admin. Goes there. Vital. Bottom card goes to design. Okay. Now well, the world is my oyster, huh? Ah. Uh, That's where we wanted to go. We wanted to do a bunch of upgrades and stuff, right? So let's do it. Well, it's our turn. Let's do it. So. Hmm. So let's see. We're going to upgrade that. We're going to upgrade that. And I think we upgrade that in hindsight. I think so. I like that. That'll do, pig. So, here we go. Blue car is these two. So that'll be, let's go and get another book. And a book time. Oh, shoot. Blue car. Sorry, my bad. Better yet. So that'll be two points and a book there. And each of those will move up one. Two points and a book. Here's the book. And the two points. Done. And these two flip over. There and there. And that'll be another four points. And I'm just going to give myself the other two for the other upgrade that I'm about to do. So this will then come over there for the two points. And for the green car, looks like, uh, do we want a book time or another book? One, two, three. There. I think uh, we're a little limited. Let's go ahead and take the book, uh, the time there and I already gave myself the two points and this will peg at six okay so that's three now the fourth thing I guess I could have claimed the blue car would that have been smarter instead of one of the upgrades don't know Nah, I kind of want to grab that next. Ugh. There's a big, big question mark on whether or not that's going to happen. Sandra is, oh no, it's going to go away, isn't it? So maybe I should, no, you know what, it's done. I'm not going to bother. Do I want to, I can't claim the blue car. I mean, I could do another upgrade for the green car and get another book. 
Oh, good call. So yes, that answers the question, actually. Forgot, that is tested. Good call, Paul. So that goes up there. So if that's the case, I will, for a fourth time, go ahead and get myself that. That'll be two points and another book time or bank time. So two more points. And that was the chassis or the, yeah, done. And I go back one because I used time, done. All right. Don't have to worry about it. And Sandra is going to get rid of the right foremost designs. Shuffle these, put them to the bottom of the stack. And yeah, just bumped it top to bottom. Okay. She's done. VTOL. We'll go there. It's moot. And he takes two. And that will be in that column. Both of those are upgradable. So those will go to the bottom of this. There. And an additional, which will be this one. Top to bottom. Okay. So done, done. And now here, pink, that goes away and I lose a point. And David gets that. And you're done. All right, so what do I want to do now? I would like some design. Oh, that's right. Last thing real quick, hold on. The fact that that's there, that's actually kind of nice. So, ah, man. I really want to push this now at this point. So I want to get some cars out, but I, only, oh, I do have parts vouchers. Remember that, Edward. Um, so you know what? I think I'm good with that. Sandra will go to her office. These go away. Yeah, we are quickly uh, getting close to the end of the game, y'all. So this is VTOL. Bottom card, sorry. Uh, first off, that should have happened. Um, still moot. That's, that's a, you weren't kidding that that doesn't happen that often. So bottom card, he's going to logistics. And David is coming over to where I'm at. That's cool. That's all right. And done. Oolong, by the way. All right. Whew. All right. Here we go. David, there, bump. All right, so this is going to be David, so it's going to be that part. 
and Sandra is in admin, so it's going to be on the sports car. The sports car, it can't be, but it can be then onto the black. No, it can't be there. Then it goes to the green. So it's going to be the green car that pushes there. And this will go straight to the left. Yep. So I lose two points. Green goes out. And he's done. So our turn. We have parts vouchers. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. So it's going to be blue or green. And it'll be blue. And blue needs those. So I have parts for them. I have both of them. So let's go ahead and push two blue cars to start there. Yeah, actually, I think we'll just do those two. And that'll go one. And then I will do two. There's one blue car left, by the way. And that'll get me that for pushing the blue car. The green goes out first. And the blue. And we're allowed four. Then that will go away, and I will get that bad boy. Uh... And then you know what? That's three. That'll be a book. And that'll be four. Boop, boop. So that'll get me this, which I can't use yet. But it also gets me, what? Another parts voucher. That's fine. And three points, because I just hit the top of the... Uh, yeah, I get three points for this, and then four points for pushing out the center for a total of seven. There. Done. All right, VTOL, you're pegged out there. Sandra is at the bottom. So this is going to go like that. Two there. One here, which is the one he's going to take, and then one there. So he takes that. This will get buried. I'll have to discard one of the resources here in a minute. And he takes an additional part, which is going to be, he took this. He's then going to take that, and he can't. Forget what happens if you can't take that one. Select another, it says. So you know what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Two. So there. That goes away, and that will go. So now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So technically, that wasn't there. So then, looking at this, what's the lowest value? No electronics and no green. And then it will be one of those. So I'll just decide that he's got a ton of them. Then that will go. So then it will be, and then we'll say that one as well. And now they're at six again. So good. Well done, VTOL. All right. So now, Sandra, uh, end of the week. So don't need to worry about them there. So end of week scoring. 
uh, one point for every upgrade that's been made uh, to that model and one point for each tested design. Well, th this'll be good. So the blue and greens, one, two, three, four, five, six for the green. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for the blue. So that's 13 points. 13, I'm gonna lose two for this, so I get 11 points. One to 43, that's better, that'll do. And there, as soon as I claim cars this turn, that's gonna trigger the end of the game. Yeah, oh, we're real close, Gusarino. Uh, so I think I wanna claim the cars, right? And that's really all I care about. It is. All right, so these go away. There's nothing at the bottom of that one. That was a disaster. I think we're, it was, I think it was that, I think. That's okay though, either way. I have no idea how the order of these were, but I don't think it matters a massive amount, but we'll see. Be funny if I end up losing because of it. All right, so David, David's taking the bottom. He's going to R and D. Of course he is. I'm going to R and D. Don't you dare. And Vital is going to the designs. There, Sandra, we'll go there. Okay, so David, I think I was here. I think I was, because then David will go there, because he's now certified there. And He's going to upgrade. He'll upgrade. Green was on top. Okay. Yeah, I think that does matter. So, oh, so there. Green was on top. So that will go. That will be, that can't have happened because that's already been upgraded. Huh. And that's literally the only green. How did that happen? So chassis, hold on, chassis. That's a really good idea, Gusarino. That would have been a cool idea, but that ship has sailed. Um, so let's see. That, that, and that have already been done. So that shouldn't be out there. I don't know why that is, but okay. We'll let it fly. And then take the highest value car, which is going to be the blue. And there we go. That advances, 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 done. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. Huh. Looking at what's been upgraded. Yeah. And also, yeah, that shouldn't, I, I clearly have screwed something up. So a moment. So what I'm looking at now is all my upgrades and what their upgrades were. Their upgrades were these. So I just want to make sure everything's in the right spots. So one, two, three. One, two, three. That should have four because I did that one double. One, two, three, four. That's good. Then the that is one, two. Good. And then frame, frame should be at two. 
Now it's right, so I don't know why that was out there. I don't know how I screwed that up, but in the end, I guess it worked out. Okay, so my turn. So I'm going to take three actions, or spend three time for this car, and that car will go into four, which will get me two time. Can't use it, but that's fine. Make sure, give me a second. Oh, I don't have design. How did I not have designs? Oh, I'm an idiot. I forgot that step. How, how I can't take that car. So, allow me a mulligan. I'll come down here because. And the pace car doesn't advance, I don't think, when they do it. Nope. Just says it simply take the cars. Um, so never mind. I won't take my actions yet. One more turn. All right, fine. So, Sandra, I don't have to worry about anything. These clear. Done. VTOL, bink, but nothing happens there. Sorry, wrong one, wrong side. There. Whew. Trying to get, I'm getting impatient. He's gonna take two based on where she is. Oh, okay, Todd. Well, I'll double back to that in a second. So where is she? She is here, so it's gonna be in that stack, the fourth row. So that one goes to the bottom. And then this one cost me two points. That's impressive, Todd. 32 minutes ago I did that, that's awesome. Thank you for that. So I lose two points. Then I would argue that that would have happened so the red will then get that there, which means there. So I feel better about that. I just forgot to flip the tile. That's better. And then he also takes this one, which kind of sucks. I would have liked that one. And done. So that's VTOL. Then I will go now, since I couldn't do that. Now I will take uh, Do I get the certification here, or do I get I think I got to get these, right? I got to. So I will take this one. I will take that one. I guess I might as well take one of these, that. And I will spend one time. And I will take that and hopefully I get all of them. And that's it. Because it's green, green, blue that's out there. And I guess I could take one more time to get certified, and I will. Whoop. So I will spend one more time, because that's two, to get certified, and I'll take the five points. Five to 48, done. All right. So now we will shuffle those. And this will be the last turn. Feel pretty confident saying that. Now that we have figured out the mystery of that, those can go away. All right, David, do your worst. 
Not literally, but all right, R&D, you can't. And you can't go there, so that means you're going here. Sandra, well, mosey on down there. And Vital will take the top. He'll go to admin. And he can't. Son of a! But the good news is he's going to the bottom spot. I will take the top. Thank you. That worked out. Now it's our turn. We have two bank time. We're going to go ahead and use it. I can't get all those cars, can I? Uh, I? Two, two, and one. No, I can't. All right. So. Oh, see, the rules don't say anything that the bots, it says it simply takes the cars. So. If that's the case, this game should have been over a long time ago. But per the rules, oh well. So be it. We're going to take the blue car with that one. Blue car will go there, which I already took that. Whatever. Um, So that was three, and then I will take one of the greens as well. I'll take the front green. That will go there. I get two of those things. I'll take a book at a time. And done. And that will advance it too. which means meeting. And that triggers the end of the game, but we finished the round, correct? Let me double check. I'm fairly certain that's the case. Finish the day, including possible end of week, meeting, or both, and then proceed to final scoring. Done. All right, so Vital now will go there. He will Take that car and upgrade red. It doesn't matter. There, that will go there. He will gain four points for that. And he takes the car. And he upgrades another one, which will be that one. go there and so that's nine points I lose for all of that and there's no cars to take so I lose nine 39 done be tall I don't think I did this but it's moot because we've already gotten the points here pink he takes that that will just immediately go away. He's done. Sandra will just do nothing. And now we have the meeting. Well. Yeah. So be it. All right, so meeting time. Me, VTOL, and this is meeting number two, so let's clear these out. This is all done. Uh, so VTOL will get two, David will get three. All right, so here we go. Oh, only one. All right, so be it. Okay. So they're going to do their rightmost and the leftmost. And I, oh, I forgot to discard one of my 
one of these as well. So for the green car. Um, so let's see. So I'm just going to, well, we'll put this, I guess, here because they can't claim that we agreed. So it's going to be that one. It really doesn't matter. It could be that one, but whatever. So we have four of these. So it's going to be one. It's going to be two. So I guess I will, because VTOL does the highest, right? The highest amount on the right. No, he goes left to right. So VTOL will take that. David will take that. So I guess I will go ahead and claim that. And that'll be worth four points because I have this one here. So I'll figure them out here in a second. Then VTOL will do that, and that's a wash. So that's zero points. Then David will come over here and do that. I'm minus two. I have two green cards. I'm plus six. Minus four, I'm plus two. I'm minus two. I'm plus six. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, no, and uh, yeah. What's up, Vince? So I'm plus six is where it finishes. So this one can't go out there, I believe. So that one goes away. So I am plus six after the meeting. So now these will go away. But we still have this and we still have this. So we're going to take one of those. That'll go away. Because we go into final scoring. Okay, so final scoring now. Here we go. Spend a speech token per achievement. I realized that we didn't we didn't talk about these, so that's that's my bad. Sorry. There's these. Uh, three of the same car. I failed. Um, three different upgrades. I got that, and I have two of these left, and that is five. Oh God. So I guess I'm only doing one of those. Yeah. So that's going to be six points for that. Oof. So that'll be six there. Then two is one per shift that I've banked, which according to Paul, I had two. That'll be two points. Then uh, one for each speech token, which technically I have one left over, a book and a parts voucher. So I had one, two, three, four, five, six more. Goes to 59. Uh, points for each of your cars in your uh, garage. So if you take a look based on this, so that's going to be four points for the green and six for the blue. That'll be 10. And it gets it uh, 69. And now, thing changes for, for each department's training track where you are the furthest ahead or if you are on top. Earn five points. No Yes, no, no, no. So I get five points for all that. Yeah. Okay. And now the fun part, my favorite part of the final scoring. For each of your tested designs, 
gain points equal to the value of the car part depicted on it. Okay, so tested designs are these. So, another way to think of it is this. Six, five, four. So that's 12, that's 25 points for that. Right? Oh, that's certifications. So minus one off of that, so that would have been eight points. So seven, I guess. Seven more. Good call. So 81 and 25 is 106. All right, so that's it for that. But now, the colleagues then score. Five points per training track in which either, either of them are the furthest ahead. There, so one, two, three, four. Okay, so I lose 20 for that. So we're now back to uh, 86. Then two points per design tile, both upgraded in their play area and their shared design stack. Okay, one, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So that's 22 points. One, two, 84 down to 64. Two to six points per car that they kept based on the car's end game value. Uh, all right. So that'll be two, four, seven, 11, 17, four, three, and 10 is down to 47. And two to six points for every car part. This hurts. Six, 12, 13, 22, 22 and 4 is 26. 6 back to 41, back to 21. For each point they score, decrease, right? If after this your score is positive, you've won the game. Refer to the ranks list. Okay, so let's look at this. All right. So the intern made it to the end of the game with a point or more and two or more tested designs checked out. 15 or more after final scoring, two or more design uh, tested design, two or more bank shift and two or more certs. So assistant supervisor. Uh, factory man, we didn't have that. We did, we did, we didn't, we didn't. And uh, yeah, so there you go. So hey, we made it to assistant supervisor. I'll take it. All right, so a couple things, some thoughts. Way better than on Mars. Start with that. Um, got into a groove. Um, clearly, apparently I made, a, or not clearly, but apparently I made a mistake for the assembly. The colleague simply takes and keeps the selected car. They do not require designs for this. If there are no cars on test track, the action is lost. Doesn't say advance the pace car. If that were the case, this game would have ended a fair bit ago. So it wouldn't have run this long. So there's that. Uh, and other than that, once you get into a groove, I think it, I think it flows pretty well. Um, one, two, three, four, five, you're right. And I back four more points, so I didn't even score 20. Damn it. Ah, I needed to get to 15. Still got an assistant supervisor, even though David was sandbagging. I see you, David. So, still made it. All right. Overall, I enjoyed it. Um, I enjoy it better multiplayer, for sure. But uh, I think there's some cool stuff. And the one thing that I will say that, I find it interesting. I don't like games that just constantly beat on you, usually. And this game constantly beats on you because you're not scoring 
or if every time you score, it feels like they're taking away points. So keep that in mind. Like that was part of the reason I don't like some of the tower defense war games. It just, man, it just doesn't let up. At least this one lets up a little bit to where it's not constantly beating on you. Well, it is, but it, it doesn't feel as bad. So I like that. I think it's not streamlined, but it's a VTOL game. And let's be honest, VTOL's games aren't going to be streamlined. That's not the types of games that he designs. I still really enjoy their des his designs. I enjoy him more multiplayer. The Gallerists, I re really enjoyed playing solo. I enjoyed this, and I will do it again. I will totally do this again, um, probably later on this month, maybe next month, uh, just to see if we can get it. Uh, a couple of clarifications on the uh, on that about the R and D for the bots, and without a front end teach, just to see how quick we can do this on a stream. I bet you we could probably get it down to two and a half hours. I think for that, um, yeah. So, oh. It is upside. Nope, I totally. Nope, I just. It's what happens when you're prepping at four in the morning. So that that was on me. Nope, totally blew that. My bad. No one pointed it out. So, but yeah. Um, <laughs> it's amusing a game about Kanban, not Streamlight. Well, it's a VTOL game. Right, and I'm not saying that they're not streamlined. And I know Paul is in chat, but you know what I'm talking about. There's a lot of moving parts, is what I'm trying to say in this game. And if you enjoy a VTOL with sort of game, you're gonna probably enjoy this. My argument would be more than on Mars. And I just, re as far as a so, I really, really dislike that solo experience. This is a step or two below that. Um, it's not my favorite by far. But it's one that I would entertain playing again. Um, yeah, so there you go. And Weather Machine, Paul says, I'm going to love it. So that's good. I'm looking forward to it. All right. Um, yeah, and I think the pace car should admit. I, look, I'm not arguing with you. I'm just saying it should be listed in the rule book instead of it saying specifically the colleague simply takes and keeps the selected car. Or, I think, take the selected car as per normal rules and just write and advance the pace car. The fact that that's not listed in there is a pretty significant oversight, but uh, that's all right. So be it. All right. Yeah, definitely like this more than on Mars. Um, I will definitely play this again, so we'll do it again. So there you go. That's the gallerist. Solo. Well done. Heard. I appreciate it. We won. I told you I don't use it much, but my bad. So thanks everybody for hanging out. Certainly appreciate it. If you enjoyed the stream, give it a thumb. Subscribe if you haven't. Consider going over to Patreon, patreon.com forward slash heavy cardboard, supporting the show there. Really, really would appreciate it. Um, yeah, I've been, I this game, even, <laughs> even as rough as the start was, I guess, uh, this was about 14 hours of preparation to get ready for this stream and it still wasn't smooth so eh. it's all right we'll do it again i'm looking forward to it y'all have a great night uh weekly look ahead tomorrow at noon social distance wear your masks most of all seriously be kind to one another whether you're talking to somebody online letting people in in front of you at the grocery store or in traffic just you know what we all could use a little bit of uh kindness. So won't we do that for one another? All right. Have a great night. I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.